Another thing I want to look at uh, a few years back now, because we've been asking loads of bands recently, as it's the final ever Warp Tour this summer. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah man. It? About first memories. So you guys, but it was a few years back now, wasn't it? Yeah, um, last one we did was in 2012. Yeah, yeah, so I want first memory, first of all, first memory of Warp Tour. Uh, yeah, who was on that first year? So it's the one we did in 2009. Yeah. Um, that was, I remember turning up in Chicago, it was our first show. And everyone been like, oh, you know, Warped was a really hard tour. You've really got a graft. You know, we turn up and we like had this humongous crowd. I was like, wait, boys, this is gonna be a walk in the park. Done, job done. And then next day we played Boise, Idaho, and I think there was like four people and a few stray dogs. So like, I was like, oh right, okay, that's the reality of this tour. <laughs> wow. Um, but I just remember like, because that was kind of like our first touring experience in America. So well, it was our first tour in America, and I remember like all of the U.S. bands that I've been following, sort of online and like getting to watch them like whether it be like a day to member or the main or mayday parade or time low all these bands that we'd never met and that was a thing that was you know i think if we hadn't done that tour obviously we're, i'm sure we could cross paths with all those bands at different times but meeting those guys and like getting to watch and see what they're doing and and uh, how they do things in America, like that was a good learning curve for us to be yeah. part of that. Yeah. Who, are the, who are the buddies you kind of made out on tour as well? Because obviously we know you're like good friends and relationships with like all time loan people. Was that yeah. the beginning of it? The... You know what? No, I don't. Oh, really? I actually, well, actually no. I I got quite friendly with their merch guy Vinny at the time, um, but that's just because we he used to play a game called CeeLo, which is like a dice game. Oh. So us and like were we the kings is torment. Uh, merch guy Chris V would do it and that's sort of like how we originally got friendly with people but the thing is like we have Max Hellier in our band so you just sort of like let him off the leash and he comes back a few hours later he's like I've met I was hanging out this person that person and they want to go grab a beer and all sort of stuff and like you don't have to do any of the socialising like he goes and does it introduces these people in your, in your set so every like honestly I've been in places in the world before where it doesn't make any sense that somebody's come to me and been like oh is Max is Max about and I've been like like we're in South Korea, it's three o'clock in the morning, in the middle of Seoul, and who who are you, and how do you know Max? So uh, that's just the effect he has on people. But, um, Social butterfly, that's nice. Is. Yeah, no, I have, I have fun memories of it, man, because again, it was, I remember growing up and um, oh, Drive Through Records had this DVD, which they basically, there's a big sector of it, which was all about Warped Tour and all their bands playing Warped Tour, and that was like the first time I saw saw things um, happening in America for other bands that I, that I was sort of in love with and like growing to love. And um, I remember getting the email from our manager at the time, Craig, being like, you've been off with Warped Tour. I'm just thinking, fuck, with Pete, like, we've yeah, made yeah, it. Yeah. It's a big milestone it, for it was a, Yeah, especially like if you grew up in like the pop punk scene as well. Um, now, obviously, I feel like, like it, we don't feel as separated from the American scene or the Australian scene, but at that time, like for an English band to go over and do Warped Tour, I think Bring Me don't, like, like they, they did it the year before and like they came back and were like, yo, it's mad, man, yeah, you've yeah, got to yeah. go and check it out. And yeah, now it's like loads of UK bands go and do Warped Tour by the time. It's like, you'd be lucky if there's like one English band, one Australian band, one Canadian band, you know, that'd be, that would fill the quota sort of thing. So yeah, just remember the barbecues, the parties, just meeting people and yeah, as 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 you said before, we, we sort of built a lot of friendships there that, you know, um, especially 2012 was like a ridiculous year because yeah. I think, I think it was, that was the year it was Bring Me, Parkway, The Ghost Inside, All Time Low, Mayday Parade, like all these bands that like we've been growing friendships over the years, which sort of like, that was Pierce the Veil, like it was just one of those summers where it was just like, this is disgraceful. Yeah, that's a big like. like we we got it. We got into a lot of silliness <laughs> that summer. It was amazing. And then we actually left early because we came back into this uh, the show in um, Hyde Park for the Olympics. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And so like everyone was like, because by like no disrespect to walk tour, but you get like it's like what a nine week tour, and it's it is grueling. And like you get to like the seventh or eighth week, and when bands start like being like, oh, we're finishing our stint the tour now, you can sense other bands been like. I'd kill for like a few days at <laughs> yeah, home or whatever. Yeah. So when we were like, oh yeah, we're gonna go back to London and like play this, this show. Um, we didn't know how big the high part there was gonna be because you never know what's gonna happen. Those sort of stuff that's not corporate, but they're sort of event gigs. And I was just like sending pictures to like all the boys in like park where the ghost side and like, how was your show today and walked and like, oh, you know, same also, how's Hyde Park? I sent this picture, it's like a hundred thousand people. And they're just like, 
you fucking hate you guys so much. A, you're at home. B, you're doing that. So, yeah. That's yeah, way to rub it in from the other side of the Atlantic, yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that's how that's we like to do it. Death,